I recently attended the ABC Culture event in Armagh, Northern Ireland. Um, Ireland. It was called the New Cultural Geography of Smaller Places, put on by Armagh City Council for the ABC Local Authority, which is the, brings together the three um, towns in the area. And I think they really put on that event off the back of their City of Culture bid, where they were shortlisted for City of Culture um, and had done a lot of work looking at the importance of their culture and how they could work together and the power of a uh, sort of more holistic approach, I suppose, to culture, particularly for, for rural communities. I think my main takeaway was the variety of ways that people work in this field of creative regeneration, creative placemaking, uh, placemakers, artists, activists, um, the, the different varieties of projects and approaches and impact that they can have, but also the similarities in the sense that people who are doing what I would call really effective and impactful work have the same core values at the heart of what they do. They are looking at who is not represented, they're looking at in decision making who's not heard, they're looking at um, long-term work in places where um, solutions and ideas and work is able to evolve from a conversation uh, with community with what's already happening um, and also that there's a real um, honesty a lot are among quite a few people who are trying to work in this way at, at communi with communities and artists that there's still a lot to learn together and that we in, in coming together and sharing that and being honest about when it doesn't work and, um, and, and how we can change that for the next time is really important and really valuable. So the event aimed to bring together artists, academics, um, civic leaders, local authority members, researchers, policy makers into a shared discussion space um, with an aim, I think, in recognising the magic that can happen when you work across sectors, uh, when you bring creative people into spaces with researchers, policy makers, local authority, uh, with an aim to talking about the value of the work that they can bring into those spaces, the experience, and I suppose talking about the role culture can play in developing and um, growing our, our rural places. So the event was the ABC event was staged on, I don't know if I'll pronounce this right, in bulk, which is the first day of spring. The sort of strap line being um, the renew to the rebirth, renewal of, um, of life. And, and so that sort of underpinned the theme of the event with people talking about the ways that they worked with communities, the way they worked with people and the way that they um, used arts and culture to help that rebirth and that renewal. What stood out most from the other contributors? A few things. There's still, not a misunderstanding, but there's still an assumption of a particular type of art in this work. And so, so for me, Sometimes I felt like um, a contributor, I was really aligned with the way they were thinking and sometimes I felt like art was still being put in this box of um, public installation of performance rather than um, a community artist or a chef in residence, say, you know, or something that really wouldn't fit in the art box. So. 
The danger for me is that we still need to expand our idea of what art is so that everybody feels included in that, in that term. Um, another takeaway, though, was the value of working with people who have lots of different experiences and bring that different experience into the work. So there were some really interesting academics and researchers there. And I think going forward with what we do now and our creative placemaking work, um, some really strong partnership work with that area, with people who are looking at research, could really help us understand the impact that this work is having for communities. Another takeaway, I suppose, was that as part of the event, I got to walk around the next day, actually, we were invited to walk around Arma itself with um, there were quite a few other people there from, who had led City of Culture Biz. So we went to see the mayor. We were um, taken on a tour around the prison, uh, which is in the centre of Arma. And there was something incredibly powerful about how the organisers of the event and the mayor and the local authority, Armar City, were really welcoming and inviting of artists, activists, you know, other types of people into their, their more formal, formally structured spaces, if you like, um, into some of their more vulnerable spaces, like the history around the prison and we're just really open to dialogue and conversation and I find that really inspiring. So my presentation, we were invited to go over and present under the umbrella of the What We Do Now project. We have worked with um, Union Workhouse in the Republic of Ireland before and um, looked at some shared learning between our work and theirs and actually they came over to our No One Place conference here in Dumfries looking at creative placemaking and through that work I think that the organisers of um, the ABC Culture Conference discovered us, the Stove Network, and saw the What We Do Now project and were really interested in the way that we were working with artists and the way that we were working with community groups in rural places to explore the possibilities of those places, um, to creatively engage those communities and really with a view and intent for how that work could be part of informing local decision making and regional policy. So they asked me to be part of the event and to talk about um, creative placemaking and the effect of that work on regeneration and place development. I was on a panel and that was sort of broadly the theme of, of the discussion. It was really great to be able to go over there and meet up with some of the leading thinkers and voices, certainly the ones that I'm inspired by in this um, creative placemaking and regeneration work. The keynote speaker, Dr. Car Courage, has written a recent book, um, Creative Placemaking. It was incredibly validating to hear her talk about creative placemaking. I think that when I've been describing it to people, they hear the word placemaking, they think urban development, um, the term has sort of been um, accosted, if you like, by urban development, and they don't think about community-led grassroots practice. They don't think about um, power that comes from the communities, they think about things that are done to places. And it was really validating and inspiring to hear her talk about the originality of creative placemaking, how it is at its heart, a grassroots and holistic practice. It's supposed to be people and experiential, um, people led through people having experiences and exploring ideas. It's um, not supposed to be a top-down process. So the way that we're using it and what we do now felt like it was being reflected back to us by quite a few people.
in that space. I think the impact that going to events like this have for what we do now is, um, is in a number of areas. It's really important to be able to step outside of the work that you're doing and see it from through somebody else's eyes and from another perspective. So I personally find that really useful to step outside and I would like to be able to have the network support other, others who are involved to be able to do that and have the work reflected back um, to us differently. The other valuable thing that I think what we do now takes away from these types of exchanges is exactly that, it's a learning exchange. Hearing about the challenges that other people have faced how they've dealt with um, expectations, um, building up expectations in communities and making sure that they have a shared accountability to that, the challenges that artists might find working in this particular way is really valuable. Um, and again, looking at the types of collaborations that other projects and other people doing this work have forged across other sectors, whether it's health, um, academia, you know, all other sectors and how they've done that was really, really valuable to talk to other people about. And then I think there's also just really being able to be proud and share the story of the work that we've been doing here in Dumfries and Galloway and that we've been actually connecting with others across the south of Scotland as well. That back to that work being reflected back to us, that it is something to be really proud of. Um, we do really have a strong momentum here of shared learning and practitioners, I suppose, practitioners, organisations, groups who really want to look at how they can continue to develop this approach to working for the long-term benefit of the places that they live. And, and almost a sort of I think we've built a real trust in that being a shared learning journey, that there are going to be challenges, there are going to be things that we could face together. And I think that when I talk to other people about the work that we're doing here, they, they find that really inspiring and that's uh, really, really lovely to have spoken back to you.